Hey, Katie. How are you? Oh, yeah, I just walked into the store. I'm just getting set up here. What, you can't hear me? Oh, gosh. This air conditioning. Yeah, it, I'm trying to get it fixed. It should be hopefully getting fixed sometime next week. I think on Wednesday. Yeah, well, you should come check out the store um, here soon. Um, it's really nice. I think you'll like it. Sure, sure. All right. Talk to you later. Bye. So what's your story? Uh, my story? Uh, well, how are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Oh my god, thank you so much for fitting me in. Okay, so... Uh, family, wife, girlfriend, partner? Uh, I mean, I have an ex-girlfriend, um, but we're really not together anymore. We're still friends, but, you know, oh, not that. ex? Uh, uh, I'd rather not say, really. Um, do you want me to get rid of her? What? I can do that. Uh, excuse me? I'm perfectly capable of making her disappear. Disappear? No, no, I, I, I don't think I want that. Oh, okay. Well, then I'm joking. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Yeah, really nice eyes. Oh, that's what my son told me who passed away. Tomorrow I have, um, this, it's my wedding. Not my wedding. <laughs> Not my wedding. <laughs> but it's, you know, the party before. I can't even remember the, the name of it. Sorry. The reception? Oh, no, no, reception. Yeah, no, reception. Is right? Reception? Is, I don't know. Sorry, I'm like really nervous. Oh, it's okay. It's Sometimes okay. I don't know if I'm making the right decision or not. Are you married? I am not married. I actually just broke up with my girlfriend not too long ago. Oh my god. Oh, foot and mouth. I always do that. I'm so sorry. Oh no, it's it's okay. It's for the best for sure. Yeah. So who's the lucky guy? Oh. Or gal? <laughs> guy. Even though I do swing both ways. Oh, but... okay. Well, I can bring you a ton of clientele that have a lot of money. Oh, really? How's yes. that? What do you do? I don't know if I should get married. Ooh, why is that? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just really nervous. I don't I don't think this is I can definitely tell some friends to come and check out this place. Oh, okay. Well I, I like that. Okay. Would you be willing to hook my friends up? Uh what do you mean? Hook hook them up. Hook my friends up. You know. Uh I I, I don't know. With a great manicure is what I mean. Oh yeah, I, I think I can I can manage that. I was kidding. Oh, totally kidding. <laughs> So are you looking for a new girlfriend? Yeah, I want to date a low, but no, mom had to have a big wedding. Oh yeah, that's what they do. Yeah, it's great. So I hear. <laughs> yeah, mothers. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta love them. So did you just start your business or? Yeah, I actually um, started, I opened up two weeks ago. I like your bangs as well. Remind me of, you know, a friend of mine. Well, I don't like my bangs. Why don't you like your bangs? They look real nice. Well, they remind me of a girl that slept with my ex. Well, I have friends that are single. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, tell them to come by. I mean, it will, I wouldn't mind. I mean, I have friends that are single. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> that you could have a lot of fun with. A lot of fun with? A lot of fun. Oh. Hmm. All right, well, tell them to come by. <laughs> but I'm joking if you are. <laughs> <laughs> Man. I only wear them because I have a big forehead. Oh, don't say that. <sighs> Sorry, I think I have a little panic attack. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Hey, feet press. Is there a bar around here? A bar? Yeah, uh, <laughs> like close? Uh, I think there's one, you know, down the street. I'm not oh, okay, good. for sure. Like, yeah. I, like I said, I just moved to this location, so. Gotta make my rounds. <laughs> oh. Everyone's kind of coming in today. Yeah, drink in the morning. Nails, afternoon, drink at night. Oh, yeah. <laughs> sorry, sorry, I'm telling you a lot. <clears throat> Don't uh, you typically have a bunch of bridesmaids and do all this together, you know? Yeah, but the... I just wanted to elope. This is ridiculous. So... Like my mother. Oh, my God. Do you have one of those meddling mothers? Uh, yeah. Sometimes. <sighs> Sometimes. Yeah, she actually yeah, forces me to do some stuff that I don't I necessarily know. like all the time. But, <laughs> I know. Then they like know. make you the guilt trip. Oh mm -hmm. my god. I oh, my... Without a doubt. I know. I had, a, doubt. I had to meet my mother for lunch today and I was five minutes like, where are you? Where are you? I have a table outside. Where are you? I'm like, mom. Well, at least did she buy drinks? No. Did you, buy, you, know, did you I get had... a drink? In no, it? I didn't. I wanted to get a drink. I drank before I met her. <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> Helps a little bit. Yeah, because, you know, I won't fit in my wedding gown. You know. Is that what she says? Mm, yes, that's what oh, she says. Awful, yeah, she's awful. not passive aggressive at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the guilt trip, the fat jokes. The, that's the, that's horrible. Know, Mother should never treat you like that. So what do you do again? Uh, I'm a entrepreneur. What? Uh, I mean, entrepreneur. Oh, oh, okay. But like, what kind of business? Uh, what's that noise? Oh gosh, it's the air conditioning. I mean, it's so loud. I mean, everybody who's called me is always asking me what that sound is. It's, I'm supposed to get it fixed next week, hopefully. I you have somebody, a guy? I know somebody who can come and fix it for you. Oh, that, that would be wonderful. <laughs> you know, are they expensive? You know, I just opened up this place, put out a lot of money. Right. I don't know if I can afford anybody really expensive right now. I know I have somebody coming out next week, but, you know, if I can get a deal, you know, anything would help. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to have lots of panic attacks, I feel. Probably going to get really shit-faced tonight. But, yeah. Before your wedding? Why not? I mean, I mean, it's probably not Why, you think I'm going to look puffy? Oh, it's not about the puffy. Oh my God. You don't want to be hung over tomorrow. I mean, I mean you don't walk. hair of the dog. <laughs> well, I mean, you could do that Xanax. Too. Oh. <laughs> Both of those? Do you oh. not do both of those? So where are you coming from today? Well, I, I, I came from a lot of places today. I, I'm trying to remember the last one I went, came from. Was I... Do you have any siblings? Yeah. Oh, I guess you said you had a sister, right? I do. I do. I have, um, I have a twin. And twin. I have, yeah, it's not that exciting. Okay. Well, I'm joking if you're joking. <laughs> was I downtown or was I from Scottsdale? Gosh, I went everywhere today. I, I think, I think the last place I was, maybe, it might have been Scottsdale. Is that better? Oh, yeah. So... Perfect. So how much do you think it would cost to get this air conditioning fixed? Well, that depends. What do you mean it depends? You give me a lot of vague answers here. I, I don't understand uh, what it is that you do. But, I mean, I'm still open to, you know, have you bring your friends here and maybe get my air conditioning fixed. Yeah, we'll definitely talk. So are you wearing green for St. Patty's Day? No. My brother died on St. Patrick's Day. Oh my god. He had green eyes and he loved green beer. That's awful. He died on a golf course on the green. He got hit by a golf cart. I, I didn't even know golf carts could go that fast to injure somebody like that. Yeah, apparently they were speeding and they flipped him up in the air and he made a hole in one, but they killed him. That, that is awful. That is so awful. I am so sorry. I am so sorry. Mm, I don't know if I live in Scottsdale, or, or sometimes I live in Scottsdale, but sometimes I live in Glendale, and sometimes I live in downtown. I, I move around a lot. I have a lot of family, and I know a lot of people, and I hang out a lot. So sometimes I, I'm not sure where I live anymore. I mean, I probably won't sober up, to be honest with you. I'll just be a constant alcoholic binge. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Well, you want to go? <laughs> I mean... You should go. Is it open bar? You know, um, since you like green so much, I really think, you know, wearing green is probably honoring him, you know? I think he would like it since he loved green so much. Well, you seem to know a lot. That's so sweet. You want to go get a green beer? Uh, I mean, possibly. Yeah, I well, mean, I'm I think I could do that. Are. Um, yeah, so, but you should totally come. I'm sorry, I know it's, like, hot in here, but, like, I keep hearing this, like, noise. Uh, I mean, is everything gosh, okay? Yeah, like, I, we're okay, right? Like, there's not gonna be, like, a fire or something. I, I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry. Mm. I'm supposed to be getting this air conditioning fix. It's making this god-awful noise nonstop. Like, oh everybody god. who calls me, everybody who comes in here complains. Oh, you poor thing. Like, I, it's kind of funny, but I think I might, it might be... You know, it might be Scottsdale. I'm not sure. Yes. I, I think I stayed in Scottsdale. I'm not sure. Maybe I don't spend as much time in Scottsdale as I do in Glendale. So this is the first time I've come to this salon, and do you know much about it? Oh, I actually just opened it up. Oh, this is your salon? Oh, yeah. oh it's no wonder. It's no wonder that I feel such, such excitement and, and wonderful energy from you. Oh my gosh, I can't, I can't decide which, where I, I can't, that's so funny, so I you, can't decide where I live. Do you live with 
a family or do you have an apartment? I have family and apartments and I, I pay for apartment. everything. Oh. But it's not really my house because I, I let everybody else live there. Have you have you ever been up to Sedona? I have not. You know, in Sedona you can go for a hike and just be one with Mother Nature. And when you go up this one place, there's a guide. His name's Rogelio, and he, <laughs> he's actually really sexy. I'm telling you, I, I, I'll go visit Sedona and Rogelio's Vortex any day of the week, if you know what I mean. Hi. Hi, how are you doing? Oh, I'm good. Um, yeah, getting ready for a wedding. Uh, your sister's wedding? Oh my God, how did you know? Ash, I'm pretty sure she said she had a twin, and... <laughs> we look alike, duh. And so, I kind of live, um, I, I might live in Glendale more than Scottsdale. I'm not sure, I have to think about that. No one ever really asks me where I live anymore because they know I live so many places. Have you ever heard of chakras? Uh, a little bit, but I really don't know much about okay, that. Okay, you need to open up your 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 eye your eye chakra you, it's it's called a third eye for a reason because everyone has one and you need to chant and and be thankful to the universe and 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 just just align yourself and raise your vibration what are these chants that i'm supposed to be doing I'm, yeah oh my god did she invite you yes yeah, she did oh my god she's fucking inviting everybody and i'm gonna have to tell my mother oh, this is just like her Oh, okay. And, um, gosh, I sometimes I stay downtown with my friend. He's kind of cute. So sometimes I stay there, but I, he wants me to live there, but I don't think I really live there yet. Shall we chant together? Uh, sure. Om ni wa ma ma. You just have to say, Om ni wa ma ma. Yes, that's right. I can feel our energy coming into alignment already. Well, you know, I wasn't sure if I was actually going to make it. No, no, no. I mean, completely come. That's fine. Totally, totally come to the wedding. She already invited you. She's so spastic. You know, she's crazy. What is that noise? Oh, yeah, it's the air conditioning. I'm sorry. I'm, oh. I'm going to get it fixed uh, next Wednesday. Oh, okay. Well... What's wrong? Nothing. Oh, you were just staring at me. No, I was just checking out your nails. Whose place is this? Oh, this is mine. I just opened it up two weeks ago. Really? Yeah. What? I see some nail chippings over there on the floor. Do you like sweep or anything? No, I sweep. Oh, okay. I mean, it's just me right now. Oh, oh. Uh, well, I'm gonna have somebody who... And you're this that. dusty already in two weeks? Uh, I'm sorry, I mean, I cleaned up earlier, but mm. I must have missed those. Mm. Did your okay. mama teach you how to use a broom when you were younger? I know how to use a broom. Oh, okay, okay. Well, you do know, don't you, that we're all made of energy? We're all the same. You and I, we're the same. And I feel, I feel that, you know, it wasn't surprising to me to tell you that you have an angel behind you right now. An angel? An angel with big wings. Oh, you know what? You should ask him his name. Just ask him his name. You know, it's, don't make a big deal out of it. Just be in the shower or whatever and say, hey, what's your name? And I'll tell you, he'll, he'll tell it to you. And then you'll always know you're never alone. You know, well, she said you did a really good job, so okay. I need to look better than her. I did not say that. I just said, sorry. <laughs> Twin thing. <laughs> sorry. Just so, me. what do you think of her fiance? Because I... Oh my God, he's so rich. Um, you know, my kids need me so much, I'm not really sure. I don't know whether he needs me or my kids need me or, or, my, or my daughter needs me. I mean, or, or, my, or, my, or my brother needs me. He's such a dork. How, would... how old are your kids? Um, well, some of them are teens, and, and one of them I had when I was like 14, so he thinks he's my, my parent. It's kind of, I, I really don't remember, because I try to forget, because I don't really want to remember how old I am. Your hands feel kind of dirty, Debbie. Did you wash your hands? Dirty? Right. 
I, I'm just saying. I'm just. I mean, I have you hand know. sanitizer, lotion, and lotion and soap over there, which I use regularly. Do you? Yes. Okay. All right. I'm just checking. Yeah. Crystals. Now you feel like a, mm, I don't know, like a mm, amethyst. Um, amethyst. Yes. It's it. You're that bright purple. Because be, you know, it's a it's a actually one of them's a house, and it's got a big gate around it. Oh, okay. So um. Uh, yeah, I think my name's on that lease. I had to go look at the lease, but I'm not really sure. Um, you know, and, and I just let them live there because somebody's got to live there. And I live there sometimes. I think my clothes, mo- I can't remember where most of my clothes are. I just, when I go in, I just look at the closet and I pick out my outfit. And, you know, I like to dress pretty easy anyway, just throw on stuff. And sometimes it's not even my clothes. And then I walk it out the door and I'm like, oh, I don't remember this not your clothes well because I think they're not my clothes because I haven't sometimes I haven't seen them for a while so I'm not really sure it doesn't really matter I I look good at anything I think I do you think I look good at do you think I'd look good in anything I think I might but I'm not sure wait she's undecided well I mean she came in here very 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 undecided oh my god are you serious is she having another panic attack yes she is she's ridiculous like Oh she was kept on asking me where the next bar was. What? And she said she went to the bar before she came here. Wait, did she really? She just um, had a Xanax, could you tell? Well, she said she had Xanax. Wait, she did drink. both? Yes. Jesus fucking Christ, Mary and Joseph. All right. I like my nails and my hands done a certain way and everything. Okay. But I like... And what's your name again? Dantes. Dantes. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm Simone. 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 Simone? Simone. Simone. Like Simone. Simone. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. I apologize. I understand. I understand how it is when people, uh. Hello. Oh. Girl. Yes. I didn't even hear that ring. Oh, I felt the vibration. Oh, excuse me. Is this a problem? No. Okay. Mm-hmm. Oh no, getting my getting my nails done with Dante's Dante Dante Dante? Dantes. Dantes. Excuse me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, I'm over at this uh, the the where am I at? The cre- the, the toy box. The creative toy no, box. No girl, it's not a place like that. You so silly. Oh, yeah. No. no. It's not one of those places. No. You don't even know what I'm talking about. I'm sorry. Mm-mm. Yeah, girl. I don't know what's going on with him. He's all rubbing my hands all soft and everything. You could put a little bit more pressure. Oh, oh girl. He making me feel some type of way. Let me get off this phone mm-hmm. with you. Let me get off this phone with you. I'm going to call you back. Okay, what? No. Girl, please. Oh, my God. Are you serious? Are you serious? No. Girl, let me finish up with my manicure. Let me finish up. I'll call you back. Back. A lot to consider here. I well, um, you know, I have a I have a really hectic life and so I try to simplify things, but that's why I ask so many questions because I'm trying to simplify everything. Because if I simplify it, then then we don't have to ask this many questions. And so, um, that's why I have to ask these many questions. I, I would recommend just Maybe just making a decision. Uh, but how do I, I? I don't know what color is best. I make, maybe if. Gosh, I wish somebody could make some do you some want suggestions. To just close your eyes and then point. Uh, I'll, I'll, oh, if I close my eyes, I get scared. I think I get scared. Or or uh, um. So then turn away and then maybe point. Uh, uh, um, uh, uh, turn away uh, 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 and point. Yep. Oh, okay. At the at the colors. Yes. Oh, uh, and then we'll choose that color. I don't know color. that I should do that. What if I choose something bad? Oh my gosh! I have no. Oh my god! Just trust your gut. Okay. I'm not sure. I, I, okay. No. No. Oh, no. Let me do it again. One more time. I did it. I did it. Did you see which one I pointed at? Yes. Oh god. Oh god. Are you sure? Will that one work? It will oh, work. Are you sure? Yep. I'm not sure. It'll make you look hot, look rich, oh, oh, that's, look okay. smart. Oh, thank God. Oh, I, I what about, what what about fashionable, too? And fashionable. All of those? And fashionable. And you're sure? Yes. Oh, my God. 
Yes. And then you'll also need a spirit animal. A spirit animal. A spirit animal, yes. They keep you company when you're when your angels are taking a little rest. It's nice to oh. have. Yes. That, that's that's very interesting. Yes. They, the angels take rest? Well, when you do the kind of work that they do, obviously they need rest. Don't you need rest? Yeah. You know, when what, you feel... What do the animals do? Oh, they just snuggle up next to you and, and make you feel just centered. I'm a nurse. I'm like amazing because I work with kids, but it's fine. Oh, where'd you move from? Oh, Washington. Oh, did you move with your sister then? Did oh, you guys God, no. God, no. And I'm telling you thing, these things from the heart. I am not making up one iota of this. I have lived a life of love and, and spiritual guidance, and I just believe we're all connected. There's, there's you know, in my home, there's wooden things and metal things and, and air and plants, and it, we're all connected. I did date this guy with a lot of money, but he just kind of talked about himself a lot. I don't know why we didn't work out. <laughs> so, mm. but yeah, like, does that noise bother you? Um, mama. Yeah, it does. It's gonna be annoying. It, it is quite annoying, yeah. but hopefully it'll be fixed, like I said, on Wednesday. Like, I, I met somebody else, um, and they said they could probably help me get the air fixed, but mm -hmm. we'll see about that. Did you just move out here? All right. You single? I am. I actually just broke up with my girlfriend. Why would you do? What I do? I didn't do anything. You had to have. Come on now. Why do men always say that? Why do they don't do anything? Why? Why do I have to? Because you're cute. Something. You're pretty. I guarantee you done something. No. You had to. No. Oh, okay. Then no. what did she do? I just don't know. I just have. I. I so what do you think? She didn't do anything. It was a long-standing problem. Uh, what? I just... In the bedroom? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> what? I, a girl's got to ask. Okay. I might want to ask you out or something. If you got a problem in the bedroom, I don't want to be a part of that. Oh, well, you don't got to worry about that. I can assure okay. you. Oh, because you can take care of all this. Is that what she's saying? I that, can. Do I can. want to? Uh, Mm. Okay. I'm not drinking your tea. That's fine. Not at all. I didn't ask not you to. Not at all. Mm-hmm. <sighs> I will bring you some amethyst, and I'm also going to bring you some quartz because I'm telling you, you did something this week, and I need to clear that out with the quartz. So... Quartz gets rid of bad things? It keeps the good energy, and you definitely need to keep the good energy. Well, thank well, you. I appreciate it. Well, you know, maybe what I'm feeling is this vibration from the ceiling. Is it... Oh, is air it, conditioning? It's an air conditioner? Yes, it is making this god-awful sound. Everybody is complaining oh. about it. It is the worst. Oh, I, I'm having somebody come fix it on Wednesday. Oh, so maybe that is this bad thing. And maybe when they come fix it, oh, I maybe you can bring the an amethyst an on Wednesday. I, I was certain it was an angel. I, 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 I I'm, oh, you know, I'm just, I need to recenter again. Oh, ni -wa -wa -wa. Okay, it, 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 as long as it's just the air conditioner, but I have to tell you, I was certain, I was certain that some evil spirit was around us and we needed to clear the air. Well, you said you were single, mm -hmm. looking to mingle. Oh, I didn't say that. No. I think you said that. Your eyeball said it to me. Maybe. Little eyeball, little, little eyebrow, you know, kind of flipped up there. All right. All right. Mm -hmm. Come on now, are you done? I'm you, tired. Do you want me to be done? Could you? All right, we gonna be done. Thank you. They look good, though. I like them. You did a good job. I might be back. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, I got to get this. <laughs> Girl. Girl. Yeah. He just finished. He cute, though. Yeah, he's done. I told him he should come and hang out with us. Where are you at? Oh, you over at Stacy's? All right, we're going to bring him. I'm going to bring him in there. He little candy. I think he's young. He looks about 20. Dantes, how old are you? 31. Oh, shit. He's 31. Oh, yeah, we're going to have fun with that. Bring the rope. Bring the rope and those cuffs. 
for real. If the tape, the tape is still in the trunk in that black bag to the left. Don't be scared. Tape. You can handle it. The tape only goes on the part where there's no hair. Don't worry about it, boo. Don't worry about it. Well, mm-hmm. carry all over. Yeah. Oh, he said he here. Bring the wax for real. All right, let me go. Let me go ahead and paint this thing right here and get it over with, okay? All right, I'll call you back when I get in the car. Yeah, don't forget the room. Bye. How much do I owe you, sir? Hey, Katie. Oh, just closing up shop here. Um, shouldn't be too long. Oh yeah, same old, same old. Just another day of the shop. All right. I'll see you later. All right. Mm, bye-bye. and I'm the director of the Nail Tech Chronicle. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching our premiere of this comedy short film. We were so excited to be able to bring it to you. And I know this is uh, to be about the making of the film and and all of those great things. But really, I want to give a huge shout out to Toy Taylor for letting us use her salon to create this film, The Creative Toy Box. As you saw, that was interweaved throughout the the storyline as we presented it. And it was a fantastic location to be shooting out. And I'm so happy that she was open to the idea that we brought to her 24 hours before we actually started filming there, which was super exciting. I love that she is first so creative and supports the film community, but the other thing is that she always brings energy to any of the projects that she that she does and she's involved with. So I was happy to not only be able to use her salon, but to actually also have her as one of the great talents in the film, which was amazing. Um, the other thing I wanted to talk about is with this film, we did everything wrong. We, we didn't set up to do a comedy film of this type. We set up to actually film a day in the life of a nail tech. We had no idea how it was going to actually turn out and the type of characters that were going to be part of this. We did a casting call basically 24 hours before we had the location. We had six amazing actors sign up besides my son. And we just had an absolute blast coming together and doing improv, which is exactly how this was done. We had nothing scripted. We just had ideas for the characters to follow. And the characters actually were created by Toy Taylor because she's the one that has the experience working in the nail salon. So it was great to have the reality intermixed with the storyline. And so I just have to really thank all of the actors that came because for each character that they had to develop and work with, they had no line. So they actually had to come up with that story on the fly. And what we got to see manifest on, um, in the film was just absolute joy and pure laughter. Most of the time we filmed all of this in one day, just one day, that's all. And then we spent the rest of the time putting together the stories and it, really came together. And one of the funny things is in the storyline, we have this loud air conditioning noise and that we baked into the story because we couldn't take it out. We were, that was our location. We had to use what we had. So I'm so excited that we were able to piece this together. And I hope that while you were watching it, you got to see this amazing, crazy day in the life of somebody just come together from beginning to end. So thank you so much again for taking the time to watch this. Thank you to our actors for all of the energy that you brought and the challenge that you stepped up to. 
And I have to give an extra special thanks to my son, uh, Dantes, for being part of this. He came to visit me on my birthday weekend and said, whatever you want me to do, Mom, I'll do. And he said, it's your weekend. And he did. And so I really, really appreciate that. Thank you for letting me create this story. And I hope you enjoyed it.